the Galaxy S21 series Exynos versus the S21 series Snapdragon. Yes, people are still confused regarding this. So I have already made a bunch of videos where I have shown a couple of benchmarks which were leaked and also which were been circulated on Geekbench talking about it and yes, we could not get like 100% conclusion on either of it like which one to go for but definitely Exynos is definitely improved when we compare with previous generation. So recently we saw that Mr. Who's the Boss have already made a video regarding this. He had brought two of the Galaxy S21 Ultra, one is Exynos, one Snapdragon and he gave out his conclusion where Snapdragon was again little bit ahead than the Exynos variant. But recently I came across a video of a YouTuber named The Tech Chap. He has also made exact same video where he has compared the Exynos Galaxy S21 Ultra with that of Snapdragon. But to my surprise, the things what he has shown, like his comparison was pretty much similar to Mr. Who's the Boss comparison, but the results were totally different guys. The results what I have seen at least was totally different. Mr. Who's the Boss himself commented in that video. So in this video, I'll be talking about all of that and I'll also be talking about what's exactly going on with Exynos Galaxy S21 Ultras all over the world. Hey guys. All about technology 24/7 here. If you like what you're watching, I would appreciate if you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so that you receive all the latest updates from my channel. Also, like this video if you did. Let's now get started. So let me first show you a part of clip from Aaron, Mr. Who's the Boss. He has ran and to do benchmark here. So just have a look at this. Naturally, when I got these two phones, the first thing I did was to just slap them on a table and open a benchmark. Because with last year's S20 Ultras, the Exynos version of this phone was just bad. It was at least 10% slower than the Snapdragon equivalent. And so a benchmark would be an almost instant way to see if they fix that gap. So on Antutu, which has kind of become the standard performance test, we get about 650,000 on Exynos, which to be honest is a good score, but then we get 690,000 on Snapdragon, which puts that phone about 6% ahead. But to make sure that we get the best possible, most reliable reading, I decided to run every benchmark. So we jumped into 3D Mark, where actually the gap was even greater. 5,303 versus 5,699. Or in other words, 7% better on Snapdragon. I then ran GFX Bench, which is basically just an absolute truckload of graphics simulations. And if you average out all of these, the Exynos was at 66 frames per second, Snapdragon at 70, which is again, a 6% lead. But interestingly, if we move over to Geekbench, which is a little more CPU focused, it's about a draw. Snapdragon is a little higher if you look at the single core performance, but Exynos edges it out in multi-core. And then finally on Passmark, Exynos wins 11,900 versus just over 11,500, a win of about three and a half percent. As you saw with that test, Snapdragon was completely ahead when compared with Exynos. It was at least 6% ahead than the Exynos 2100 here. So after watching this, you might be thinking, oh again, Exynos is not that powerful. Snapdragon is again powerful. But let me show you a small clip of the tech chap video where he has done the exact same thing, but the results are totally different here. Just have a look at this. Let's start with performance. And when I ran my tests and started to realize that my results were not the same as say Mr. Who's the Boss is, I wanted to replicate one of his tests exactly. So these two phones are set up identically and I fired up the Antutu benchmark. And from round one, the scores are, well, pretty neck and neck. But of course, the big question here is about sustained performance. So altogether, I ran this test five times straight after each other. And if I bring up all the numbers, you can see that they trade blows throughout. And surprisingly, by the end, the Exynos is in the lead. So a pretty surprising win for the Exynos, which is not what I really expected to see, nor is it what I've seen other people talk about. So. I wasn't quite sure what was going on, but I wanted to make sure there wasn't maybe something wrong with my Snapdragon version. So I actually uh, went out and bought another S20 Ultra myself and had it reshipped over here internationally as fast as I could, which uh, cost quite a bit of money. But I wanted to make sure this video was as fair and as thorough as possible. So with the two Snapdragons and the one Exynos, uh, they've all got the latest software, all set up the same. Let's do it again. Let's go through five runs of Antutu. And from what I'm looking at, there's two big takeaways. Firstly, if you look at the two Snapdragon phones, I mean, these are identical devices pretty much, yet we're getting slightly different results. 
Secondly, the Exynos is slightly behind throughout, but if we look at run 5, it's bang on the average score of the two Snapdragons. As you can see with this clip from the tech chap, you can clearly see that his Galaxy S21 Exynos is performing much better than Mr. Who's the Boss Galaxy S21 Exynos. As you can clearly see, it's beating Snapdragon 888 in like benchmarks. Also, he clearly says that in overall benchmark, I mean after running it for 5 times, clearly the Galaxy S21 Exynos is still holding up higher but the Snapdragon Galaxy S21 is losing scores after running it like multiple times. Definitely there is no much difference here with his Galaxy S21 and the Snapdragon Galaxy S21 I can say. So what's going on with the Exynos Galaxy S21 all over the world? Let's read the comment of Mr. Who's the Boss on the video of Mr. Tech Chap. Let me show you that now. As you can see on the screen, Mr. Who's the Boss says that Great video man, but also so strange. I have just re-ran my test and still get the Snapdragon far ahead, unlike what you are getting. One interesting thing is that across every reviewer's testing I have seen, the Snapdragon seems to be performing similarly, but the Exynos models seem to have more variance between them. Some people's Exynos phones are getting really hot and slow like mine did and other people are finding that their Exynos phones are doing just fine. So this is the comment from Mr. Who's the Boss who again re-ran all his tests but gets similar results like what he has mentioned in this video. So why is this difference with the Galaxy S21 Exynos variants? Nobody can answer this question as of now like exact answer but I can say that there might be some issues with the Galaxy S21 Exynos variants. Yes, there might be few faulty units that have been shipped by Samsung. Most likely it can be a reason for not getting that good result on Mr. Who's the Boss Galaxy S21. Whereas when we compare it with the tech chap, it's far ahead. Also the tech chap himself says that as you can see on his pinned comment, hey chaps, Looks like we might be seeing the silicon lottery creeping into the smartphone world now. Might need to revisit this with an extra Exynos phone. After looking at this comment, it made me conclude that there might be some faulty units that Samsung has shipped to its customers. That's why a few of Galaxy S21 Exynos variants are performing like excellent I can say. They are performing outperforming Snapdragon 2 in some point. But there are a few Galaxy S21 Exynos units which are getting really hot and warm also the performance is not as great as the Snapdragon 888 chip Galaxy S21 so this might be the case although no one is 100% sure even I am not 100% sure regarding this but after seeing all of the inputs from YouTubers like Mr. Who's the Boss and the Tech Chap I can say that this might be the reason why Exynos is fluctuating so much there is so much variance in Exynos Galaxy S21 Ultra so at the moment, people who want to buy these devices, who want to pick any one of these, I would suggest you, if you can buy a Snapdragon Galaxy S21 Ultra, definitely you should go for Snapdragon Galaxy S21 Ultra or S21 series, whichever phone you want to buy. But if you don't have any choice, want to go with Exynos itself because that's the only thing available in your region. I might suggest you to wait for like a little bit more. Yes, you have already been waiting like so many people have been waiting for all of these comparisons. But guys, if you are like really worried about the processors and if you are like hardcore gamers etc and if you want to use your device for like longer time, I would suggest you wait a little bit more. Let's see what these people come up with and what else I can find on internet so that I can confirm that this is the issue with Galaxy S21 Exynos variants. So both of these videos will be linked down in the description. You can check for more footage like you can see camera comparison from both of them and both of them got a little bit different results I can say. You should definitely check that out. I'll not include that here. You can go ahead, click on the description and check those videos. So guys, this was a quick little video showing you guys about the difference in Exynos versus the Snapdragon Galaxy S21 series. So that's pretty much it for this video if you liked it. Please give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Also do follow me on Instagram, link is in the description or it's appearing somewhere on the display. This is all about technology 24 to 7. Signing off for the moment. You guys have a great day. Peace.